Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign. I'm trying to survive as long as possible in legendary Iron Man land with 90 plus hardcore mods, including double enemy squad size uh, yellow alert and a few quite hardcore mods. Uh, today it is a time for Operation Blood Valley. Sabotage Transmitter means that is going to be a very, very time-sensitive mission. We can get a scientist, and even more important, we can counter the Ultramarine side event, which is one of uh, the modded side goals. If that would run loose, we would potentially uh, see a massive, well, what is it, uh, potentially chrysalid, uh, run rampage. And I don't know what it does exactly, but I'm not that keen on finding out. We got a couple of side trips here. We got uh, phantoms. Uh, that is not really good because it uh, means we will need to have revival protocol. We got uh, advent couriers in that area. Uh, we got a reduced presence, which is good. But then I think we also had uh, advent custodians, large numbers of heavily armed advent custodians. So. I'm not 100% sure what I should make out of those side trips. Limited forces and reduced alert is typically positive, but if uh, it then says large number of heavily armed Advent custodians, that's no bueno. Uh, we got the losses on top of it, and I will try to do my best to sort of work through that. Now, here's the kicker. My last mission very much told me that we shouldn't uh, risk our... Um, primary inventory so what you see is essentially the secondary inventory so the leftover crew uh, B team in this case uh, we got Russ, Roby, Slicinator, Shadow, Andors and Zirkim that's truly the B team um, well Shadow arguably could be A team but doesn't matter for for the sake of my argumentation uh, none of these items here um, are not replaceable matter of fact we could replace every single one of them you can see we have non-modified guns, so that will be a bit harder to hit. I needed to put a lot of blue screen rounds on here. Uh, those two technically can be replaced. Uh, I wasn't using them a lot and I built the Hellweave West. Um, sold some, uh, some uh, extra items just to build that Hellweave West. So, we are actually fighting against quite a few enemies, Lost and Phantoms. Uh, plus the custodians got a flashbang here got two additional flashbangs here so my hopes is when we're running into the custodians that the old technique of uh, simply flashbanging them and flashbanging them and flashbanging them to make them miss and move very slowly still is accurate and works uh, wish me luck guys this might be a quite difficult task to go through and maybe we will find some people that are going to die. All right, and we just landed, so let's take a look. Clearly, we are at the edge of the zone. Six turns to get right here and stop that from happening. Luckily, we got the one person with us uh, that can move quick and silently. Nice. Advent Custodians and Advent Courier. I don't know what an Advent Courier does. For now, what I would want to do is get up here, take a good look. Wow, look at that, the Custodians still have a huge, huge uh, detection radius. Would run to here and then try to get up. I think just getting up the stairs there is more effective. Ricevuto, mi muovo sull'obiettivo. 
Okay, so Zirkin. Wow, well, this is definitely going to escalate quickly. Move, move, move. Roby moves up, Slicinator. All of these positions are taken. That would be too aggressive. We would likely be spotted out. So let's go here for now. And Ross with death from above. I would really like to see him on high ground. He could move all the way to here. And next turn sort of try to move up. Well, that would be difficult. Let's still try to do it. I get the feeling that that death from above will help us. All right, custodians, our best friends. 35 hit points, tons and tons of armor against the losts. Custodians take an offhand shot. And the turn ends. I mean, the moment that something explodes and we get more losses in here, things will change. Now, time for the lost uh, to move on on them. I mean, the Custodians can really, really withstand a lot of punishment, so I'm not worried at all that they will go down fast. Gotta be careful here. Damn it, it is... It is intriguing. Basically getting rid of the... Um, uh, of the explosion right here. There is another option to get this, guy, uh, this one down. I know that if we explode it, this is likely going to trigger a few losses, but I think with death from above we should be fine. So much Not sure why exactly we are just revealed. Out. But okay. Good, Zirkim takes them down. La via libera. We're moving in. I think we don't have we don't have the means to um, to bypass their armor yet. So using quick draw just to give us more time. And the Dark Fog Grenade, I should have used uh, that together with our Grenadiers. Wow. Advent Custodian minus 30 points of... Uh, minus 30 defense. So this here is a grenade. The Dark Fog Grenade does not trigger does not trigger any of the losts and the guy is blinded which is perfect moves very very slow 
and effectively can't really shoot us. Half cover with Slicinator. Marking the Custodian. It didn't work out. Let's try that again. We really need to have him marked. Come on. Okay, perfect. Russ moves up. But we're picking half cover here. Of course, more losses are coming in. Good, this should trigger implacable and untouchable. Moves up so that we're a little bit closer and we're good. Whoa, 20 points of damage. Great, so untouchable. Which means even if he tries to hit us, we should be fine. Right? He just double moved to here. Okay, cool. Well, we're fine. Good. Master Marksman, that's a new faction here, I have no idea. Are these Reapers? Yeah, those must be Reapers. Wow, cool, haven't seen those yet. Slicinator moves up and we got to hit this guy here. Reload and let's hit him. Okay, down to three armor. Holy shit, is he regenerating armor? How is that even possible? Good, Zirkim gets another chance. Continuously shredding this guy. One, two, three. Good, he's down to 18 hit points. That would be, wow, he, he even is harder to crit. 
should be much, much, much... Ah, we're not flanking him. Okay, I see. The shield prevents him from ever being fully flanked. 30 defense, 10 powered shield. Interesting. Wow, we gotta pour so many action units just into getting him down. Uh, I don't want to use... No, I don't want to use... I don't want to use the grenade, even though it would be nice. I'm rather going with threat assessment. Move to here and then unload could move to here. We had a perfect position up there. Five to six points of damage would still not get him down far enough. Wow, I have to use Banish just to get that Custodian down. Good. We're still positioning ourselves here, but I want to make sure that every single loss that comes through gets Blade Storm. Good. So one custodian was able to just move away for now. The other one took our combined firepower for now just to get down. Good. Remember, we don't have a headshot mod, which means all of these guys actually need to die. Luckily, Blade Storm should be relatively good for us. Like, if Roby is continuing to Blade Storm, we should be fine. Good, the Reapers are a faction here, but I think they will likely... Oh, wow. Even more Custodians. Great. The Reapers will also fight against us. I can't see how, how they are not like against anyone, uh, against all of the other factions at the same time. Good, Russ moves up. Has high ground over here. Not a great position, but okay. Down. 
keeps death from above, which is good. Roby reloads and actually kills this guy. Untouchable, implacable. Moves up. Reloading. Shadow goes into the shadows. Surprise. I will go. Will be the one that is helping us with the mission objective. And in the meantime, I think there is a good chance that we're just using face off here. All right, let's see. Endors. One. Uh, damage, damaged, damaged, two, three, four, good. Not fantastic, but okay. We're green to go. Trying to remove some of the others. Okay, cool. Okay, I'll go. And Slicinator moves up. And we're buying ourselves a bit more time here. High ground with Russ. Good. Solid position. <laughs> 20 points of damage. Wow. The custodians are something else. Like... The 20 points of damage is just a bit over the top, but you gotta stay away from them. Kind of kite away. Problem is with the network tower, that's exactly what you do not want to do. You want to move in. Good. I think this is a Reaper faction. I haven't seen them at all. Maybe they're even working on our side. I don't know. Could be that they are just like kind of uh, the resistance operatives, but the Reapers are essentially working in the territory of the loss. All right, super slow-mo. I think... There is a bit of a calculation in the background. Blade Storm and maybe something else. All right, I'll fast forward that. Give me a sec. There we go. It was some sort of Overwatch, which was bugged. Does every single one of them have Guardian? Wow. Alright, so, Master Marksman. These guys are definitely... Uh, these guys are definitely fighting against the Lost. And they sort of look like friendlies.
Okay, so maybe they are on our side. Nice, they even got uh, board la uh, launchers. Yeah, you should know better than to use grenades, guys. Okay, a couple of things. Let's... First of all, reload. Second of all, we're using death from above to get rid of uh, the zombies in absolute proximity. And then we're buying ourselves another turn. Thank you. Good. Slicinator moves up into full cover. We need to go and get that custodian down. Zirkim starts. Uh, it seems that the Reaper are indeed against us and not our friends, which is a shame. They seemed incredibly friendly. Alright, let's get the custodian first. Eleven hit points. Okay, cool. Run and gun. Moving to here. Oh, look at you. Well, I'm here for the custodian. No way. to do it but i think that's the only thing we could really do in order to definitely kill the guy we'll spawn more losts but at least the custodian is down Right, the couriers, uh, the, um, the couriers uh, seem like normal um, foot soldiers. Oh boy, another custodian. But we need to focus on the custodians. That's that's a given. They're just way too powerful. If we don't get them down, the others won't. Well, nice. Now, the loss have just caught fire. Great. Okay, Phantom. Those guys are fighting normally against the lost. Yep. So it seems they are prioritizing them. And somehow it also seems uh, that they kill them with one shot. Not sure if I'm... Imagining this. Definitely a cool faction. I I think accurately balanced so far. 
Okay, they definitely don't kill them with one shot. Looks like a high hit, um, but also low hit point, low defense uh, type of uh, enemy. Good time to get a couple of the loss down. Good. Russ keeps them off our back, which I appreciate a lot. Zir Kim moves into again for cover. Starting to hit the custodian. Lysinator takes the other side. Again, time to hit the Casolian. Unbelievable that we just need two shots, or that we need two shots in order to even start getting them down. And we barely scratched the surface. Let's continue hitting them. Not a lot of damage. Can't really hit, uh, kill them at the moment. 18 is too much. I don't think that that will work. There is another... Ooh. No, 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 that is not good. Purge Vanguard, just straight up summoned. Alright, let's get that Marksman. I'm not going close uh, anywhere near that Rift Keeper. And again, I'm not sure if they are our allies or not. Uh, just said our ally is lost. That could mean... That could mean a lot of things. Good moving up. I need to get on top of uh, the balcony. That's a better aiming spot. Four more turns. We could block the entrance here and keep an eye on the Rift Keeper, which I think we will do. Rift Keeper, one of the hardest enemies in the entire game. I don't know exactly what they are doing, but I distinctly remember they have a lot of ar armor, they can summon reinforcements, they are super hard to kill. And they have psionic uh, talents. All right, Perch Veteran Vanguard. Sounds like someone who can who can either blade storm or close combat shoot. So we gotta be careful. Uh, the Reaper faction seems to be on our side. I think so, at least. Not sure.
All right, vanishing, long watch, all of that sounds generally good. Okay, so that would be an explosion all the way up to here, right? To here. Okay, cool. Say... No, that is out of sight. Unfortunate. If we exploded that, would that be a problem for the transmitter? Well, we need to destroy the transmitter, so... If push comes to shove... That actually would be in our favor and not again work in our favor, not against us. Stodian is being marked again. Fantastic. Good. Ten hit points left, which I think. which I think we could could get down. We, I just need to find the right place. Yeah, right in his face wouldn't be too bad. Good, moving up. Good, we got implacable. I want to go to the Rift Keeper. We want to get to the admin uh, courier soon. All right, two more turns for death uh, for run and gun. Yeah, we're moving to here. Full cover should be fine. Good, one more down. Russ moves up into high, uh, high ground. Kills the lost and reloads and I would reload as well next turn we can hopefully extend extend the timer a little bit more very nice we soften this guy up so he's down Good, lots and lots and lots of lots should be spawning. Okay, that can keep uh, the Rift Keeper occupied for now. And Bladestorm is okay against the loss. Okay, uh, <laughs> cool, I have Hellweave West, so they're actually scorching themselves, great. Uh, not sure if we were the target. 
I think we were the target. That guy just shot at us twice. Not cool, dude. Good, that would uh, shred him and give us an extra round. So it's kind of a two for one play. Shreds for three, which is great. Nah, I can't, can't kill the courier yet. I think we have a safe position here. That will give us untouchable and implacable. Move all the way over here. Too close to the rift keeper for my liking. I actually think this here is a better place. Good, let's just get the lots, the few lots that are close out of the way. Very good. Robbie gets a threat assessment. Should have done that beforehand and then I could have overwatched as well. Doesn't matter. We're still fine. I just got us a few more rounds. Hopefully enough to kill that Rift Keeper. It has a nasty gun and with 80 hit it definitely hits better than the normal Gatekeeper. In hindsight, the Hellweave Vest actually was incredibly helpful. Because with Hellweave Vest, uh, what will happen is even if they attack us, they would start uh, to burn and there is a chance that they even get damaged. So kind of multiple layers of defense. Good. Well, the admins are down. Somehow, that Rift Keeper just doesn't want to come any closer. Good. Can we somehow get up here without losing our concealment? Potentially not. I go where you tell me. 
apparently we don't need to be completely on the spot. It's, it's just we need to play this reasonably safe so that we could theoretically end the timer. Sirkin begins to move up. Alright, reload and hit this guy. Again, not sure if the Reapers, I think they have shot at, or, uh, at us. Which means naturally I would like to take them out. Reload Overwatch and let's just get the the remaining guys off. Very good. Okay, the Rift Keeper unfortunately just doesn't move. Good, Sirkum. Moves up there. Slicinator moves up there. Let's move to here and then we can get a bit closer. Gotta be careful not to stand completely in the open. Nah, I want to overwatch and we're reloading here. Good, Roby kills. And implacable. Uh, not too close to the explosion, please. Implacable to here. But we got untouchable. But he just creates a rift for an advanced raptor commando who apparently can immediately move and take a psi strike well great okay we do have a problem if he continues to summon like that we actually do have a massive problem here. Wow. Wow. Okay, revival protocol to get him out.
Good, next up we gotta free our friends here. Viper is burning. Uh, wait, wait, wait. We don't want to take the shot yet. Where could I go with Zirkim? Full cover is good, but the Viper is a problem. Flashbangs will not help. I gotta deal with the Rift Keeper. Could be a kill. Starting to shred that thing. Okay, cool. The Bio Viper is a problem. It'll start to be acidic. There we go, that's the good old acid blood. We all just hate it. Could move to here, explode that, that would be a kill and... Falling damage, not a kill, but severely injured. Could move to here. Nah, I think this one here is better. We're anyways already burning from the acid. Don't think that that will work, Saiken. No. It just won't. Look, we can get at least one of the Vipers down. Or that Commando. Um, which... I think I could kill. 5 to 6. Five points of damage. Can we deal five points of damage with a grenade? Hmm. Unlikely. No chance of uh, that uh, being uh, that going through. Bio Viper would explode, which is a problem. We have an idea what we can do. We could move to here. That would actually solve it. All right. <sighs> Deviating from my original plan to hit the Rift Keeper, but we need to further soften them up for now. This here actually might be the right play. That thing is still burning. Moving to here. Good. Fantastic. That's one down. We would deal substantial amounts of damage. 
Uh, one more round and then uh, we gotta hack this. Forty-one points of damage. Uh, Forty-one hit points. That is crazy. Can't move too far away because next round we need to hack this here. So maybe we're just leaving that commando unhinged or alternatively I'm just shutting down the network uh, the network right now not great but what am I supposed to do sometimes there is only a loss loss situation Still in leather range, if if the guy provokes an um, a blade storm, stasis, pff, not good. Con does he continue to summon? No, for now he's just moving away. There's the blade storm. Uh, not cool. All right, fantastic. Well, a couple of things, right? I guess that'll be okay. Your overwatch really doesn't mean anything to me. Oh, look at that. Okay. Ready to rock. That guy has stasis. Well... Should have known in advance. Remnant healing. Bobby gets the aid protocol. And... We are moving away from this eyeball as far as possible. And there is a lot of overwatch, overwatch. Slicinator moves slightly forward because I need him to shred it next turn. He's fully healed up again. Stasis ended. And let's see. He should trigger overwatch shots. Those raptor commandos are the worst. Interesting movement, by the way. If I recall correctly, he was on the complete other side. On the complete other side of the map. And the Rift Keeper just, like, zoomed over here. So that was fast. Very, very fast. Can we heal someone? Unless oh, that's just one point of damage. Okay, I'll take full cover over here. We can still see him. Then dual strike. Nah, we're first of all marking him.
I wonder. Does a flash thing work on him? Should be, right? Good. So at least he can't use his summonings and shenanigans. Now, as I was saying, we can't really mark him. But with dual strike, we'll get a shot. Good one. That shreds him. And I would say Slicing Editor just reloads and tries to do that again. Fantastic damage. I like it. Well, we could stand here, but that would be that would be off cover. But I think we can almost finish the guy. Almost. This will be a difficult shot for Roby. But we're overwatching because if he moves, Longwood should catch him. Ten points of damage. That's nasty. All right, I don't want it to explode and then Zirkim just gets completely downed on top of that. No, 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 no. Wow, we're fighting three rounds against, against that Rift Keeper. Imagine him on a mission. What stasis? Oh. Reload Overwatch. Overwatch. Imagine him on a mission with more enemies, like something that is time critical. And he just continues to create these rifts, which apparently don't trigger Overwatch. He himself can't be a great target because it just takes so long to get him down. Alright, Overwatch, please. No, apparently not. A protocol on Roby. That gives him threat assessment, by the way. Let's kill this eye, please. Wow. Just wow. What a fight against a Rift Keeper. Now I do understand why they truly call them the king of uh, the cream of the crop. It's supposed to be one of the hardest enemies. Not sure if that is true, but I mean, 
from its pure stats and uh, abilities, I can certainly, I can certainly see the sentiment why they are so feared. Has absolutely nothing to do with a normal gatekeeper. But I must admit, the threat potential is, pot is potentially even a little bit higher. I mean, it depends what kind of creatures he's summoning, but those Raptor Strike Troopers, those were nasty. And imagine if he summons priests and they also have sustenance. And you just find yourself in that, uh, in that circle of repetitive summonings. You can't really get to him. Superior expanded magazine, that is great. Larium core, data cache, cool. I've got it. Good copy. On. That was great loot. Awesome. Okay, I think we're done. 69 enemies. The best enemy uh, best number of enemies. Good, very good. Slicey Nature got a promotion. I was actually expecting that the mission would be even more difficult with kind of that second tier equipment, but all things considered, it actually went relatively speaking well. All the targeting is a key. We really need that uh, true and tried, uh, true and stride hitting <clears throat> of uh, the heavy enemies. We got not only one, not two, but three alien data caches. That's a lot of intel right there. A core and even better, a superior expanded magazine. Which is fantastic. And a scientist. Which is even more fantastic. So, scientist will help us <clears throat> to speed up the, the whole research. That extra big magazine goes into Euler's cannon here. Advanced goes uh, for superior. Love it. Just need a superior head trigger and he's good to go. He really has a lot of a lot of uh, shots in there. <coughs> and I think our second grenadier always was uh, bubble. Certainly shouldn't be the second one with his gun. Let's just switch that for a normal gun. Um, I think Zirkim did a really good job, so let's give him a better gun. And uh, said gun has a superior scope, air trigger outloader. I think if we give him the advanced magazine, <clears throat> that should be good. So we have two relatively modified guns. Still don't want to give Eric, um, aka Hogbite, the trait. But what I want to do is we wanted to <clears throat> embark on that Raider HQ. So, I said in one day, once Hogbite is ready, we're going to send him up here. Don't need supplies right now, but we need the grenade and the ammunition and soon we're going to get almost 500 supplies that's great good hogbite is back in action seven more days until the supply drop commander we should make use of the ring facility and deploy our idle soldiers well no shit sherlock thanks for letting us know um eric and uh, anderson definitely goes uh, in there Good. Then, next up, we wanted a couple of soldiers to help him. How about Inquisitor? And then Shinrod and Lyrical. I think if it is a raider ambush, we should actually be relatively speaking fine.
We have enough money to... We got enough supplies to build stuff. All right, 100. I don't want to go overboard here. I need... More Viper corpses, elsewise we're not getting any nanomed kits. Well, damn it. Could go with a flashbang. That's not a bad idea. Or Hellweave vests, which are actually, relatively speaking, good. So, let's take one of these. Extra hit points aren't bad at all. And the chrysalid corpses are fine. I mean, for 60 supplies, you're getting like two or three hit points and an anti-melee. That's okay. I'm just trying to find stuff that we could give the absolute lobbies here. Without breaking the bank. Good. Shinra and Lyrical. Given that he cannot really do much, how about we're just giving him a powered shield? That will give him 24, uh, uh, 14 extra hit points. So maybe that's the right play, to be honest. We're just playing Shinra for now as an assault kind of trooper. Doesn't hit very well, but uh, rookies never really hit very well. Another shield here. Grenade plus Hellweave vest. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't give him the shield. He could actually use it quite well, to be precise. Are we taking the skull check? You know, why not? Let's go. Out of curiosity, I think we should take the Hellweave here because he has the lowest hit points and we're just taking the Skull Jig there. Hogbite uh, fully equipped. Perfect. So what we're going to do is we are getting 36 Intel. Great. We'll get the location of the Phantom Space, which apparently is the faction that we've just located, like those raiders. I'm not sure if if it's uh, the normal raiders faction that we fought against. I think it is. So the, the bandits, effectively, that we're uh, that we have been fighting against the entire time, and we can then invade the HQ, and that sounds like a lot of fun. I think you guys are going to enjoy that. We get a promotion out of it on top of it for Hogbite, so that's great. And I think that's a fun little mechanic. Uh, so the Phantom HQ bended base effectively over here. Unless I'm missing something. Unless I'm missing something. So yeah, this year is this would be available and we could effectively go there and start hunting them. Cool. No, no. Okay. The aliens have further advanced their shadow binding technology, creating the algorithm mech unit capable of deep cloning an enemy damaged by its rifle, amongst other improvements. So, point being, when we're ever finding that algorith mech unit, that's the very first unit that we need to uh, kill. Because think about it, it just shoots you with its rifle, you drop down, and it clones you on top of it. So it's a one-shot KO plus a clone. That is one of the nastiest enemies that I have heard in a while. But okay. Well, they got their first side goal done. Now operational. We now got the Chater Chamber.
Good, well, can't really put another engineer somewhere. We just have too many engineers. I would give them a rifle and recruit them as a rookie, but I think that's not possible. And that's going to be a problem. We do have access to one facility down here. Uh, I don't have enough intel. So the moment that we'll get into... Not good. We're going to slow them down. We'll need to move fast. Let's think. Let's think. I mean, look, uh, we could always go and do this facility here, I suppose. Only problem is Commander, we've had the shadow chamber running the numbers. I'm not a hundred percent sure. What kind of enemies types were fine uh how many blips were removing i think one morbid hero so unknown enemy which is likely the berser queen i would guess bio zerka bio lost bio trooper bio viper a lot of bio troops Two more days and then the Avatar project will get one blip off again. Loyalty among thieves. And the game just offers us a massive supply rate. Uh, not good. We're going to see a lot of aliens. 32 for, for starters is a lot. And we're not I'm not seeing any enemies right control mac mutant commando unknown enemy elite trooper unknown enemy unknown enemy fanatic Inqu inquisitor elite collector assassin specker advanced uh, security bit looks like a lot of a lot of uh, creatures that are vulnerable against blue screen rounds perch lead vanguard Oh boy. Luckily, this is a non-timed mission, but potentially the Warlock will be on, on that mission as well. Which kind of brings us to the end of uh, this episode. If you um, would like to do a supply rate on the viewer account of my channel, think about clicking that little like button down there. Uh, I promise you it will um, give us some intel. And maybe if we do a good job, even some alien alloys. Who knows? Thank you for watching, guys, and see you in two days. Bye-bye.